In this video, we'll be doing another work rate word problem. The equation that we'll be using is rate times time equal amount of work done. Now, we may also need to talk about the rate at which the job's being done. So if I take this equation, rate times time equal amount of work done, and solve this equation for R, I need to divide both sides by T. The T's will cancel out on the left side. And I have rate is equal to the amount of work done over a certain period of time, or W over T. The problem that we'll be looking at is a sewage treatment plant has two inlet pipes to its settling pond. One can fill the pond in 10 hours, the other in 12 hours. If the first pipe is open for five hours and then the second pipe is opened, how long will it take to fill the pond? So we have two pipes that we need to consider. So we're going to take the rate times the time for the first pipe, and that'll give us the amount of filling it does. And then uh, we'll do the same thing for the second pipe. So the rate for pipe one times the time for pipe one plus the rate for pipe two times the time for pipe two gives us the total work. And by total work, I mean the amount of the pond that's being filled total. All right, now you can use whatever variables and subscripts that you want to, to uh, work this, whatever feels comfortable for you. Right. So to find the rate of the first pipe, I need to use this second equation. Um, one can fill the pond in 10 hours. So the pond, again, that what that means is one pond gets filled in 10 hours. So the rate for that first pipe is 1 in 10 hours, or 1 tenth of the pond per hour. And then let me just put a space here for that time for the first pipe. We'll fill that in in a minute. Now let's find the rate for the second pipe. Uh, one can fill the pond in 10 hours, the other in 12 hours. So the other one fills one pond in 12 hours. So the rate is one pond in 12 hours, or one twelfth of the pond per hour. And then let me put a space here for that time. And then uh, the total work that we want the two pipes to finish, uh, how long will it take to fill the pond? So again, we want one, one pond to be filled. All right, now this uh, sentence right here will indicate the time that these pipes are open. It says the first pipe is open for five hours, and then the second pipe is opened. So the first pipe is open longer. And in fact, the first pipe is open five hours longer. So I'm going to let T be the amount of time that the second pipe is open. And then the first pipe has to be five hours longer than that. So this will be T plus five. So this is our equation. Uh, we need to solve for T, but then uh, we need to find the total amount of time that the it takes to fill the pond. So we'll be needing this one, which is T plus five. All right, so let's distribute and remove parentheses. Um, we have one-tenth t uh, 
Um, one tenth times five is five tenths, which is one half. This is just one twelfth t. And that equals one. Um, if we combine terms here, one tenth and one twelfth, I'm going to multiply top and bottom here. I'm not going to worry about a least common denominator. I'm going to just get 120. So 12 top and bottom here, and 10 top and bottom here. So I have 12 over 120 plus 1 half plus 10 over 120. And that equals 1. So 12 120ths plus 10 120ths is 22 120ths t. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 half from both sides. These will cancel. And I have 1 half. Um, to get t by itself, let's multiply by the reciprocal 120 over 22, 120 over 22. Um, these will cancel, and I have t is equal to 60 over 22, which reduces to 30 over 11. So the time for the second pipe is 2 and 8 elevenths. So to find the time for the first pipe, I need to add 5. total time is 7 and 8 elevenths hours.